Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What is the meta in FC25? Well, a lot of people are trying to figure that out, and there was new news yesterday about what might be something very meta in FC25. And of course, when something is meta, a lot of people want to use it to get the upper hand in game, and that means prices are going to rise on the market. And that is exactly what started to happen yesterday, not only with a new Roll Plus or Roll Plus Plus that people are thinking is meta, but also a playstyle plus from last year that didn't really get used a lot. It's garnering some hype this year. We're going to talk about that, how it's impacting the market, and how it could continue to impact the market here in the next couple of days. But of course, how the market itself is flying, guys. Prices continue to go up across the board, and it's probably going to continue today with squad battle rewards. Our first reward set dropping on FC25. A lot of us have packs to open today coins we're going to be getting and it's going to make prices go up so we need to invest and watch how it's going to be maybe presenting some times to sell other cards too that are going to probably drop in price pretty soon so we're going to talk about it all today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now of course before we get into all that conversation we have to talk about the massive SBC that was dropped yesterday on saturday the player of the month holland which once again is that SBC objective weird combination thing that ea has going right now it is two SBCs for Holland, ending up at around 600,000 coins. If you add the value of these two SBCs together, it's just over 600k, which when you look at it as a price in total, you're like, wow, that is expensive. And it kind of is because a lot of us right now don't have near enough fodder to go and get this Holland card or even think about how we're going to get it done pretty soon. But this is out for 29 days, which doesn't mean that it's good value by any stretch of the imagination. But if you look at it, the price compared to the gold card, you get a plus one everywhere and plus two pace. He keeps the same acrobatic plus play style plus and there's no changes to the weak foot or skill moves. I, I think it's an expensive SBC for the time of the game that we're on, but honestly, if you're somebody who wants to use Holland for a long time and you think over the next 30 days you're going to be able to build up the fodder to do, to do this, it's not a bad SBC. In its price and in the upgrade, like it's not bad. Holland at 360,000 coins. If he had not gotten this SBC today, this card would probably be up another 50, 60, maybe even 100K. Like he was how much yesterday? He was 390, went down to 350,000 coins when the SBC came out. This card might still end up going up to like 450,000 coins even today after squad battle rewards. He's probably going to go back up in price as the whole market just kind of is. I don't think 600K of untradeable value is terrible for this with the packs pack that you get. But like I said, it's just very expensive at this stage of the game. And is Holland that meta in this year's game? Not entirely sure. He does have Poacher++, plus plus, which we'll talk about a lot of people really like. But with that Holland being released, I know a lot of us probably not going to do it, but still impacting the market. Fodder prices are up big because now we have not one but two SBCs and of course the people that are wanting to complete those SBCs are having to go buy these higher rated fodder cards. 88s are 17,000 coins. If you invested or if you held, I bought these of course for 6,000 coins a couple days ago. Yes, I could have held and made this much more profit. I sold mine at like 10, 11,000 coins. Now they're at 17. But I also was able to make more coins flipping other cards. So I don't regret selling. I'm sure some of you guys invested in fodder and made a bunch of coins yesterday. We've talked about that on uh, Thursday night, I think, on the video. That was great stuff. But uh, also, really quickly, if you want to access this page, some of you guys were asking in the comments in yesterday's video. On Footbin, you go to the SBC tab at the top. Go down to cheapest rated rating by player cheapest player by rating that's how you can get to this page it's a staple every single year of looking to see where the fodder prices go but yes guys fodder is up like crazy because that is now two player sbcs big name players that a lot of people have interest in as people get more and more coins they're going to buy these players to do those sbcs so that is the erling holland player sbc yes it's a big one it's there for 30 days if you want to do it i say do it i say set your sights on it and go craft it but at the same time we're going to get a lot of content in the next 30 days for me personally, I'd rather go get like an Evo Timo Werner uh, from that. That'd be more emotional for me. And that would be a lot less coins, you know, spent into an SBC like that. So that's kind of where I'm looking at right now. I will not be completing that SBC just because 
it is not for me. Now, I want to take a look at evolutions really quick too because we had a new Evo that was dropped yesterday and it's kind of difficult to find this evolution. Evolutions, yeah, these there's multiple tabs now. I didn't think there was an evolution that was dropped yesterday, but it's in the Evo tab. Now we have like three different tabs for Evos. Anyway, a center midfielder, box to box Evo. This one actually goes crazy because there's a lot of potential for double evolutions here like loftus cheek this 83 rated loftus cheeks looks pretty good but actually if you go to footbin you can see there is a loftus cheek where he goes into the intro to stat limits and then into the box to box evolution and he comes out an 84 rated card he looks nuts now of course this is impacting prices as it does all the time evolutions last year did this a lot he is now extinct on the market at six thousand coins now to be fair he was almost already extinct anyway dominic soboslai is another card he went from four thousand coins the evolution comes out he is now five and a half k he was almost extinct not quite 5.7 he's down just a couple hundred coins but this, you know, this is one thing that kind of reminds us with Evos that sometimes it's better to wait. Like if you had already used your intro to stat limit, which is kind of like our welcome evolution, which is a very popular combo Evo with this from box to box. And also it's very popular with some of the like um, the Power Shot Plus alternate edition evolution. Like if you did Werner or if you did Joao Felix, right? Those are uh, pretty popular combinations there. It's always just better to wait maybe an extra day or two or three. Just when you think you're going to do an evolution, you know, sometimes it's just better to wait, to be completely honest. But this evolution is nice because it gives the box to box plus roll, which is really cool. And it also gives you relentless playstyle, which is really neat. So the stat boost is solid. And then, of course, you have a lot of players from your club that are probably going to fit this. For me right away, there's nothing that wows me that I have in my club that I'm like, wow, I need to do this evolution straight away. I may save it and just wait a little bit longer. It's out for 20 days. So yeah, max 85 pace, 82 overall has to be center mid. And it can only have three roll pluses, which is interesting because this one gives another roll plus. So, you know, that's something to kind of think about too. Maybe add it on to a player who doesn't have a roll plus so that it can be even better in game. But that is a nice evolution. It's a sneaky nice evolution, I think. A lot of us will find use in that. If it's maybe building a pass and present squad of upgrading even like a bronze or silver player, just giving them at least an initial boost or putting somebody straight into your team, that evolution is kind of sneaky nice for creating some nice cards. Now, also here, we had a store pack. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this because why should we? But a 150,000 coin pack, the biggest pack of the year. It is fully untradeable. Of course, EA would want to drop this, right? They just dropped a 600,000 coin Holland SBC that a lot of people probably want to do. How are they going to do it? Probably open more packs, right? Which is not the right way to do it, but you know, that's just how the game pushes you. Anyways, this pack is out. It is fully untradeable. And then EA did refresh the 25 and 45k packs. That looks like a daily thing that they're going to do. They expire again today at content. I think those will be coming back. Now, bigger stories, of course, though, were in relation to the market. Guys, there were a lot of prices that skied yesterday, and we'll talk about that, but I want to get to the meat and potatoes of what I want to discuss today the most, and that is the tweets that were coming out yesterday about new meta play styles and roles on FC 25. Firstly, I woke up yesterday to see this Oshawala card had gone from 18,000 coins to 27K in a matter of minutes. And then I went to the uh, Twitter for you page and I was scrolling through a few things. I was like, why is this Oshawala card going crazy? And I found a couple of accounts tweeting that the new Poacher Plus or Poacher Plus Plus play, uh, not play style, role was very meta and somebody said that they used voller and draft and he has uh poacher plus plus i think and that he was like stupid good he was unreal now voller's actually up like crazy on the market as well but that started a trend right it wasn't even like a pro player that was tweeting about it it was just a random fc24 news fc25 news accounts which could be a good player right you take this with a grain of salt i think um because it's not guaranteed or it's not confirmed by a lot of pros yet but it made prices fly that's the one thing i want you guys to notice out of all this hype hype makes prices rise all the time even if it's not something that is firmly like grasped in game or people really understand people see a massive account on twitter tweeting that something is good without necessarily having any proof or like 
you know, pros to back it up. And maybe there have been since then. And I have not seen all the tweets or all the news. And I'm not blaming the guy that tweeted it. He probably had a great time with his poacher plus striker, right? But it's impacting the market like crazy, like this Oshawala card, as I mentioned. People are quick to believe the hype, guys. They are. Yesterday, Isak went up because Isak has poacher plus as well. I just went on a footbin and searched up all of the strikers that have poacher plus. Or plus plus Darwin Nunez actually has this as well. He's still extinct, I believe, for um, his evolution that is going on right now. Speaking of extinct cards, EA price ranges need those updated really, really quickly. But take a look at this: Michael Owens, two hundred and ninety thousand coins. What was he? 220. You can see these big spikes. This is when it was early in the morning yesterday. And then again, he had a rarity spike here at content. People are buying up these cards and trying out these poacher plus and plus plus players. Wow, Van Bassen from 240. I mean, a lot of the market did this yesterday, but some of these cards that are Poacher Plus went really, really crazy. Personally, if I had this Oshawala card, I would sell 27,000 coins. I mean, a lot of the market seems to be cheaper this year than other years. Maybe it's because of pack weight. Maybe it's because of a few other things. But this is something that seems a little bit more hype based to me. Although so many people are so confused and like trying to figure out what these roles and roll plus pluses do and which ones are good because FCIQ is so confusing. I know a lot of you guys have questions. I have questions. I set up a tactic for my club and I'm like, I don't even know what the world's going on half the time. I kind of understand it. I'm still trying to work through it and learn it. Luckily enough, I have a poacher plus plus Osman. He is pretty good, but I'll say I like I like Boniface better, and he's got advanced forward plus. I don't know what it is. I'm playing squad battles right now. This guy's got five matches and 19 goals, and power shot seems absolutely freaking insane. But anyways, um, that's how cards can move. And the point of me talking about this today, and we're going to look at one other example that I think's is a little bit more concrete than this poacher one, but that's how prices move on the market. If this is one of your first times watching the market or trying to learn it, a lot of times it's just hype and people creating hype off of what could be meta. And especially since we're such an early stage of this game and there's so many people trying to understand roles, the new gameplay, playstyle pluses, how those have changed, how the new game has changed. There's a lot of attention around what is the most meta and that poacher plus role took some of that attention yesterday and a lot of people ran with it. Now, I think those prices will probably continue to go up today. So watch out for anything that has Poacher Plus. That could be an investment opportunity as the market rises more today. This one for me, the Trickster Plus skill move. It's now, I guess the fake shot now is affected with players that have Trickster Plus. Now this is Stokes. He is a pro player. My face cam is going to hide his for a second here. He is a pro player or fo former pro player and streamer. I don't know if he's a current pro or not. I think he is, but he's a footwiz guy, right? And take a look at this. I think he's using either, he's using Hansen here. He's using Hansen and Hansen has Trickster Plus. And you can see with that fake shot, when she's doing the fake shot, the Trickster Plus emblem shows above her card, which means it is activated. So, and he's talking about it in this little clip. There's another little video here that I want to show you from Foot Police, who's one of our leakers using Doku. He has um, trickster regular and you can kind of tell the fake shots there's like a little bit of a sprint boost and a speed boost after these fake shot that these players that have trickster plus or trickster regular have and it's really op like look how he's just like through the box boom one boom two and then bang into a shot like that looks really op you know and i know it's just a couple of clips taken out of context of a full game but it's a regular fake shot just with somebody who has the trickster or trickster plus play style, which makes it unique. And for one, I love this because trickster has been always viewed as probably the one of the most like least effective and irrelevant play style or play style pluses in the game. And now that it actually has a little bit of use and it's incorporated in some different things, I'm a huge fan of that. But this one for me looks a little more legit than the poacher one, at least for now. And it's moving prices as well. A lot of people are probably knowing what I'm going with with Debinha here on the thumbnail of this video today, right? Debinha Sky yesterday. There's a lot of people that have been hyped for this card. And especially with this coming out, her being 5-star, five 5-star, five she went from 25k all the way up to 35,000 coins. Went back down and then spiked up even to 36. And right now, let's refresh. How much is she? She is 32,000 coins, so down a little bit. But this is the type of card that could continue to rise on the market as people see this and learn about it. Because that's kind of like people were saying that the step over boost was, um, you know, is less this year than in previous years. And that's always a boost that a lot of people are interested in because they get that extra speed boost. 
Now, a speed boost happening this year with anybody who's got Trickster Plus or Trickster Regular, that's going to command some demand in the market, and it's going to make prices move up as well. So I just wanted to kind of point this stuff out to you today, guys, because prices move a lot. Last year, it was finesses. This year, finesses seem very good as well, and a lot of people are talking about them. But this new kind of the Roll Plus Poacher and the Trickster Plus or Trickster Regular Keep an eye on those cards, especially because if this starts to actually form and create some genuine hype, and a lot of people are talking about it, pros are talking about it, pros are using it, they're showing players that use those skills, and it's genuinely a change to gameplay and gives you kind of that little speed boost that it looked like in the game, uh, then there's definitely going to be some market impact and further market impact from that. Again, my best comparison as, that I can say is remember the Finesse Plus meta from last year. Some of the graphs that we looked at in the early game last year of cards like Sun, Griezmann, Salah just flew, right? Then that tr uh, Graham Hansen Trailblazers card came out and she was crazy, right? It's that sort of same thing that if there's a lot of hype for that Trickster Plus or Poacher Plus for the rolls, those cards are going to continue to move. So that's enough about that. But I just want to talk about today once again, because that's going to be a thing year round. When the Aerial Plus meta at the end of FC24 went crazy, what cards went up in price? Aerial Plus, that sort of thing. So now not just those cards were moving up on the market yesterday. The market as a whole moved up a lot T check out neymar's price man neymar also went from 173,000 coins up to 200,000 coins uh does he have trickster yeah he definitely does right neymar has trickster plus duh i should look at the card that could be part of the reason that neymar went up but this is just one example of a player a lot of other players did the same thing where's hyunmin sun's gold card he's 320,000 coins now he went from 303 went down a little and then back to 330 a lot of card prices just kind of went shoop all the way up yesterday. There are a lot of prices are rising. Here's one that's rising like crazy. Militao. Can I click on Militao real quick? 160,000 coins. Now, what's helping Militao out a little bit is that now Saliba and Rudiger are both extinct, and a lot of people are doing Alaba. So they want those Madrid links, and we're starting to see that Madrid links, just like we expected, is going to command some more dough on this market, and Alaba is absolutely flying. But here's the thing, guys. On these top-tier meta cards, I don't think prices are going to go down today because we have squad battle rewards the first set of rewards on fc25 i know a lot of people have been playing i gotta play some more games rewards are gonna hit early today it's like 9 a.m uk time so a couple hours after this video is gonna come out you will see the rewards now i want to take you guys through this first set of rewards and what to do on the market to maximize profits and what you can do first of all meta players like that Militao, maybe some icons some heroes maybe a trickster plus player or just a like a random player that's meta that a lot of people want to upgrade to in their teams, like the Sokka, like the Isak. These are the uh, sort of players that will probably have some price rises today because people will sell what they had in their team as they get coins, go and buy stuff and upgrade those squads. You're going to see a rise most likely again. I would not be surprised if Militao had a rise like this again today. Like if I had 130,000 coins spare right now, or even 140, I would try to get one of these on bid, like 150 flat. He could be 190. That sort of thing could happen today. Other players that could go up today, like Musiala. Musiala is up a little, but like I could see him being like 130, 140. It's going to be another day of price rises because coins are going to hit the market. I know a lot of you are thinking, wait, Nate, we're going to get packs? And you, you're saying that people are going to open packs and prices are going to go up? Yes, because people are going to open packs and pack a lot of the lower tier fodder type stuff, right? And then what they're going to do is use those coins. They're going to go out and buy the players that they actually want for the team. So I think today is going to be another great day to make a lot of coins. Focus on the rare stuff too. Informs should continue to go higher as well. I know Lamine Yamal has been around that 100,000 coin mark. I think maybe just because his base card is 81 rated, that this card gets packed a good bit more. Like he went up from like 80K to 100, and now he's just kind of stuck right around 100,000 coins. He could go further today because a lot of people after squad battle rewards are going to have coins to afford stuff that they didn't before. But of course, it's a rewards period. So what does that mean? Like we talked about in yesterday's video, if you want to make some coins during rewards, if you're on for this and you're grinding on the market, get on open bids for fodder, for lower tier meta gold cards that people are still maybe wanting to buy for an evolution or something like that, or maybe just a lower rated player. Rashford, right? 
32,000 coins. This is a card that's lower rated. It's probably going to get packed a bit more, but still commands a pretty high price. Doku as well. These are cards that I would say they're near their peak. These are the cards that I would be worried about right now and want to sell. If you've got these sort of players in your starter team, guys that are over 10, 15,000 coins that are 82 rated and below i would throw vandevin in that mix too even though he could go up a little bit today because he's seen as such a meta card he's 82 rated i'd be careful with him i'd be careful with a malo gusto and naki williams i would be a little bit careful with too you guys catch my drift right those lower rated players that people um, are maybe even going to sell from their starter teams as they go to upgrade to something better today this is probably getting towards the peak for a card like marcus rashford um or a card who else Maybe like uh, Sobo Sly, but for the evolution, he's up still a little bit as well. You know, those lower rated 81, 82, and below rated players, Alan St. Maximin would be another one to shout. I would be worried about those. I would say this is probably one of your better times to sell those because you will see prices drop today on the lower rated cards, but you can also get on bids and trade with those. You can get on bids for anything, right? Packs being opened. There will be opportunity to make coins on bids, but then watch that higher tier market, those meta cards that we've been talking about. Even on Friday on the stream, we watched Sophia Smith, who I bought, right? Sophia Smith went from 188,000 coins. I sold her at 233. I think now she's like 300K or like 285, and she's probably going to go up some more today as well. That's what you can expect on the market. Unless EA pulls something crazy on us, this is the first rewards period, so it'll be interesting to notice. Whoa, 257. That's a nice buy, actually. If I had the coins for that, I would buy it. That's a nice undercut. Um, unless EA are going to pull a fast one on us and like drop another cheeky store pack or something or drop a tradable pack supply SBC at content drop, you know, I think that most prices today are just going to continue to go up. There might be a little bit of a dip at squad battles where you can get on and get some snipes and invest. This Guti hero card, though, um, he's going to go extinct. If you can get one for like 150, 160, I think he's going to go extinct at 190. That's his max price. I'm looking at a lot of hero cards because they're very rare. And if people uh, want to try them and use them, um, and a lot of them, yes, they have gone up. Icons too. Icons and heroes are going to be great today. But same thing with the meta gold cards. They are going to go up. I would imagine just focus on that higher tier and focus on rare and just what is big name players that people want to add to their teams and then sell that lower rated stuff because it's time is coming to a close. Now, just to kind of close things out on today's video, what other content could we be getting today? We've had a player SBC now every single day besides the first day, right? We had Danjuma, we had Alaba, we've had Holland. And just like we noticed during FC24, the weekends were the most hyped days for content. Maybe another player SBC today, maybe like i'm saying a pack supply sbc we haven't seen one yet we've only seen untradables the total rush challenge untradable i mean we did have marquee matchups but that comes out every week i'm still waiting for ea to drop like you know like a 15k pack just for like an easy challenge sbc that would make some like gold cards go up a bunch in value but then would actually drop some of the rest of the market and create a really good trading opportunity on the metas. I think that's something they could drop today. There's still those upgrade packs that we looked at in yesterday's video that are looming large in terms of a piece of content we could have today too. And the last thing I want to discuss is an evolution. We have that cam evolution that is still out there, right? That Javi Simons is going to fit in a couple other cards. We could have another Evo today. And you know, I just thought about this. Evo, EA said there's going to be a lot more Evos in FC25, right? Well, is because they're going to be dropping so many more cosmetic evos that's definitely what it is maybe we get another cosmetic evo today whoop de doo uh if it's cool we'll be for if it's free we'll be there too but for right now no more paid cosmetic evos please ea i'm not for that but today on sunday there's going to be something we'll have to see what it is player spc pack supply spc that will be in question. But of course, good luck with your squad battle rewards. Get those games in. And then probably a lot of people's attention, if it hasn't turned to it already, will be to rivals. Leveling up in divisions, getting 15 wins to get those best rewards for this coming Thursday. That would be your next gameplay grind. And then, of course, finishing your rush, rush matches for the week as well. And uh, I guess we still have to check and see when EA would add a new event we're gonna have to just check this every day as a part of content to see the event ends in 18 days but there's no telling they could drop another event in here before that and we have a couple running side by side 
And that's a whole other thing that we're going to have to experience for the first time. If there's a new event in Rush, that's going to make players move on the market too. So we're going to have to react and trade with that kind of in a reactionary trading investing thing on the market too, depending on what drops there. So that's probably what I'm expecting today. Now, speaking of Rush, we have a really cool stream coming in today around 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. UK. I'll be playing Rush on stream with Zway. Hani Mukhtar, Terrorizer, uh, will be in a 5v5 rush match. We'll be playing all together. It'll be super dope. We'll be on the same team. It'll be really fun and super excited to do this. So if you want to check it out, my Twitch link will be down below in the description. We'll all be streaming like separately, but we'll all be playing together in a call. I think that's how it's going to go down. It's going to be super duper dope. So that's a little bit of a shout for that. It'll be really fun, man. Really fun. Rush is definitely the most hype mode on this game at the moment is so much fun to play and it's just a blast I, I love this max 79 rated as well it's just so fun i tweeted out yesterday as well show me who you're using and there you guys are using some crazy cards even like evos and players that you're evolving that you're using in rush it's just it's fun man it's fun so the coins are going up i've got some investments made for the squad battle rewards period today i've been flipping a few icons here or there just making some flips along the way growing the coin total but we'll be trading and streaming some more today Upgrading some players, maybe in the team for the RTG as well. We will have to see what we get ourselves into with these rewards. I'll open those rewards today on the stream as well. So I will see you guys there. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions, of course, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with the account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace out.